Beguer Chilean squirrel represents a South American rodent, which in moments of danger can leave its tail in the teeth of the predator, similar to the actions of a lizard. More precisely, the tail skin remains in the teeth of the predator. After that, the animal bites off the bare part of the body, but the new tail does not grow back. Description Chilean priest and naturalist Juan Molina described this animal in his writings back in 1782. He named this animal a squirrel because of its similarity in behavior. Currently, Degu represents the eight-toothed family and the genus Octodon. Adult animals grow to almost half a meter in length with their tail, while weighing no more than 300 grams. The main color of the rodent is brownish-yellow, while the legs are silvery-gray. The forelimbs are armed with four toes and one thumb. The hind legs are noticeably longer than the front ones and are armed with five toes. Each finger has a sharp black claw. Strong hind limbs enable the animal to jump up to one meter high. On the face of the animal, stripes of a creamy shade may be located, and on the back area, an orange tint appears, while the belly area is painted with a noticeable brush of longer hairs. The tail is a little over 10 centimeters long. Experts believe that the Degu squirrel can see not only what is happening in front of itself, but also what is happening behind. This is possible due to the special arrangement of her eyes, almond-shaped, as well as vertical pupils. The ears of these animals are relatively large, oval, brownish-gray in color. In the normal state, the ears of the animal are tightly pressed to the body, but they instantly react to extraneous sounds, opening up. The animal is able to pick up sounds that are inaccessible to human hearing. Compared to the mouse, Degu's nose is somewhat larger and shorter. The vibrissi, whiskers, play an important role in providing functions such as touch and smell. The rodent's mouth is armed with 20 teeth, 12 large root, 4 small indigenous ones, 4 incisors. Instead of fangs, there is an empty space through which the animal gets rid of components unsuitable for eating. Interesting to know. In adults, the teeth are colored bright orange, and cubs with white teeth are born. By the time of puberty, the shade of the teeth changes from pure white to bright orange. The coat of the Chilean squirrel is distinguished by its granular structure and a gaudy color, the middle part is lighter, and the tips are darker. If you look closely, you can see a small amount of longer hairs on the back. This type of color allows Deg to camouflage himself perfectly in habitats. Degu in the wild. Chilean squirrels represent social animals, as they live in small groups, which include no more than two males, about five females, and also a dozen cubs. Each such family occupies an area of about 200 square meters. The habitats are characterized by the presence of a food base, as well as a network of underground tunnels. Each family makes sure that no strangers appear on their territory. Lifestyle Living in groups in nature, the animals do an excellent job with digging holes, as well as keeping them. Digging holes, the animals line up in a chain, after which they pass the land to each other. Thus, the soil is on the surface. This method of digging holes allows animals to create fairly long tunnels underground. Under the ground, this animal spends a lot of time, while the animals constantly feed and make reserves for the winter. Stocks are made either in burrows or buried in the upper layers of the soil. The basis of the diet of such animals is various herbaceous plants. Bark of trees. Leaves of green spaces. Seeds of various origins in winter, dry herbs and leaves. As a rule, the female becomes pregnant once a year, although there are cases as well as two times. Pregnancy lasts almost three months, after which from one to ten cubs are born, which weigh no more than 15 grams each. While in captivity, the female can become pregnant several times. Since the female can become pregnant again after giving birth, it is better to plant the male immediately. For two to six weeks, the offspring mainly feeds on mother's milk, but after two weeks, solid food begins to appear in their diet. After three weeks, small animals begin to leave the hole on their own. If the young try to leave the shelter earlier, then the parents drag him back into the hole. Males do not stand aside and help the females to raise their young. They constantly drag fresh grass into the hole. Before the onset of maturity, young animals form same-sex groups, and after four months the young are able to mate. This animal is mainly diurnal, with the greatest activity occurring in the morning and evening. Natural Habitats since it is a South American rodent, it lives in countries such as Peru, Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. Its favorite places are rocky areas, abundantly overgrown with shrubby vegetation. It's important to know. Adult rodents mark their territories with urine. They communicate with each other in various ways, including with the help of sounds, which were counted at least one and a half dozen. These animals try to avoid direct sunlight, therefore, in especially hot periods, they prefer to stay in their hiding places. To feast on, Chilean squirrels appear on the surface of the earth early in the morning or late in the evening, when the sun's rays are not so active. 
In addition to the heat, these animals are afraid to fall into the clutches of their natural enemies, and there are many of them. These rodents often appear in the fields, causing damage to agricultural crops, therefore they are considered pests of cultivated plants. Eating plants in the fields, animals often die, poisoned by various chemicals. Degu Squirrel at Home Chilean squirrels are quite mobile animals, therefore they are constantly in motion and also make various sounds. As a rule, degus try to adjust to the regime of their master, but for this, it is necessary to create special conditions. Despite their high mobility and restless disposition, the animals prefer a calm environment and cannot stand it when music is playing loudly, when there is a lot of tobacco smoke in the house, a lot of noise, drafts walk, and children run and play. They have a special relationship with children, so they try to avoid children. As a rule, children are unable to calculate their strength and easily injure these pets by dropping them on the floor. Often, animals simply die from excessive attention. In addition, if the rodent does not like something, then he is able to bite the child until it bleeds. Arrangement of the cell. As a rule, degus are kept only in same-sex couples, so the cage should be spacious enough. The main requirements for its design are cage dimensions, 1.2 meters long, 0.6 meters wide and 1 meter high. The distance between the rods is about 1.5 centimeters. The doors should close tightly without the slightest gap. The presence of filling in the form of shelves, houses, stairs, snags, as well as wheels. There must be space for free movement as well as jumping. The presence of a bed for digging, about 10 centimeters thick, but not less, as well as drinking bowls with water. The presence of a feeder and a sanitza filled with hay. The presence of a sand bath for swimming. The presence of ventilation holes in the bottom of the cage, if it is made of plexiglass or jetnax. You will also need a fluorescent light that can be placed next to the cage. For heating, if the room temperature is not comfortable enough, a conventional incandescent lamp is used. Care and Maintenance This animal will not constantly sit in a cage, so the squirrel will often have to be released for a walk in the apartment. Before that, you will have to hide all indoor plants, as well as constantly monitor the animal so that it does not start gnawing on wires, wallpaper and furniture. In addition, the space around her dwelling will have to be cleaned every day as the degu scatters bedding and also gnaws at everything inside the cage. In this regard, you need to be prepared for the fact that from time to time you will have to buy some additional elements of filling the cell in order to replace them. The dignity of the animal is the fact that such a pet has practically no foreign smell. The animal consumes very little liquid and rarely goes to the toilet. In winter, the cage is cleaned once a month, but in summer, once every two weeks. The Chilean squirrel often hides its food, which then begins to disappear and give off an unpleasant odor. What to feed the degus? This animal cannot be fed with food from the human table, as well as factory dry food. If plant-based feed is used, its composition should not include prohibited, as well as sweet ingredients, in the form of apples, various berries, raisins, etc. Artificial components. Cereals as well as pseudo-grains that stimulate the development of diabetes. For feeding Degu in 2012, SAB developed a special balanced diet that includes fresh greens in the form of herbs, inflorescences, weeds, leaves and vegetable tops. Seeds, about 4 grams per animal. Various delicacies, in the form of vegetables, plant roots, nuts, and legumes at the rate of 2 grams per animal. A pet must have hay in constant access. How long does the Chilean squirrel live? The more balanced the diet, the longer the pet will live. Living in the wild, half of the animals do not live to be one year old. Only 1% manage to live up to two years of age, and only one animal out of five and a half thousand individuals will be lucky enough to live up to four years. An interesting moment. In captivity, with a properly organized diet and comfortable living conditions, Degu squirrels live up to eight years, or even more. Degu Diseases and Treatments British veterinarians in 2011 conducted a series of studies to establish typical ailments related to the Chilean squirrel Degu. As a result, it was found, the common ailments are, about 60% are dental problems. Eye problems, within 13.3%. The same number is associated with hair loss, 13.3%, due to self-picking of the coat. Various fractures. Various injuries and wounds. Diarrhea due to improper diet. Abnormalities in the reproductive system. As a result of studies, it was found that a little more than 10% of the animals were completely healthy. Experts came to the conclusion that the fault is low-quality food, violation of the rules of maintenance and injury through negligence. Reproduction at home. The process is considered to be very difficult as only an experienced Chilean squirrel owner can handle it. 
when the female dies, her cubs have to be fed every two hours for two weeks, while they need to be warmed up and also to massage their tummies. In addition, only healthy animals and not necessarily relatives with excellent genes should be crossed. Additional cages will also be needed since different cages contain both a male with boys and a female with girls. To avoid frequent pregnancies, females and males are also kept in different cells. It is permissible to mate a female at 6 months with a weight of at least 220 grams. It is also not recommended to mate females over the age of 4 years. Important to remember. The breeding process is a rather costly process and also very responsible since you will have to attach the offspring that was born. In addition, you need to be able to distinguish between the sex of animals. Idegu Squirrel, Tips and Tricks. Better to take a cub that is about 1.5 months old. If a small squirrel is torn from the mother earlier, then she will face stress as well as health problems. Where to buy Chilean protein you can buy such a pet from a private breeder or nursery. At the pet store. On the market with hands. Through the internet. The best option is to buy in the nursery since there are guarantees of purchasing a healthy animal since there is plenty to choose from. Buying at a pet store is also not a bad option, but the choice here is very limited. Buying in the market is a risk of acquiring an unhealthy animal as there are not so many responsible owners. Buying over the internet is a very big risk as it is unlikely that you will be able to get to this owner's home to see what conditions the animals are kept in. How much does Degu Squirrel cost? For such a pet you will have to pay about 5 US dollars, while squirrel accessories will cost much more. The cage will cost 70 US dollars, the wheel on average 15 US dollars. In addition, you will need drinking bowls, bowls, houses, filler, bathtub, as well as sand, which costs at least 30 US dollars. River or sea sand is unsuitable here. You will have to pay at least 5 US dollars for packing high quality feed, not counting hay and all kinds of delicacies.